do you think, do you have any positive advice for any um, budding entertainers that might be out there that might see what you do and think, wow, I want to do that? Yeah. I mean, a lot of it is just repetition. Um, I was really lucky that even before I wanted to do a tribute act, a lot of people kept saying, hey, you kind of remind me of Taylor Swift. Like when I was younger up until now, there was a point where I had red hair and I didn't get that. But anytime that I'm back to like my natural uh, dirty blonde, everybody's like, you look like Taylor Swift. So I guess I had kind of an easy shoe in that I already looked like her. For me, the hard part was trying to sound like her with that classical background that we were talking about. I have a lot of vibrato in my voice. Mm. So what I had to personally work on was um, – straightening out my singing and not being so pretty when I sang. I had to pop it up and and almost untrain myself to sing. But if you are starting out and you want to do something like this, it's just practice, practice, practice. Look at a picture of that artist that you want to portray and practice your makeup in the mirror and then take a picture. I think the hardest part for me um, is I know taking pictures and videos of myself practicing is the best way to learn because you can watch it from a different perspective than just doing it in the mirror. But I also hate listening to myself. <laughs> and so I'm the hardest critic on me, which is also a good thing because it makes me work harder. So if I you are going to find something like this, videotape yourself um, Ooh, and yeah. just practice because you also sound different in your head than you sound on recording. So if you think you sound like this artist, record yourself singing and then most of the time when you're starting out you go darn it i don't sound like her i thought i did <laughs> yeah so listen back and then adjust accordingly